guys and welcome back. We are traveling again and today we're in Halifax, Nova Scotia, my first time to this province. We got in last night and we went to dinner at Salty's and it was a delicious seafood dinner. All right, the humidity kicked in and my hair's looking like this, but we're rolling with it. So, over these few crazy days, I wanted to show you guys how I keep up with Instagram stories even when the schedule is packed. So I'm going to be sharing what I like about Instagram stories, what I try to achieve, with my Instagram stories and what I use to make them. So stay tuned as we take you all around Nova Scotia and store the heck out of it. Here are some of the reasons that I love Instagram stories. One, because it's consumed so quickly by people, there's not as much pressure to make it like absolutely beautiful. Two, people tend to be a little bit more candid on their stories because they feel like more of themselves because it's such a short time. By the way, we are on the ferry. We just left Halifax. We're arriving in Dartmouth. I can't wait to see what's on the other side. Number three, it's a super easy way to get value out of the people you follow. And I think it's a great way for us as creators to share value on there for you guys. Number four, you can get super creative with it, especially because there's so many external apps out there, and we'll talk more about that soon. All right, so while I try... I just gotta watch, I don't hit that chair. <laughs> Thank you. That's okay, guys. Turn. Second person to tell me that. <laughs> All right, so while I try and eat this unicorn oat bubble waffle treat, I'm gonna talk to you about what my goal is with Instagram stories. So I try to keep my stories concise, high quality, intentional, and lighthearted. So with being concise, I try to treat Instagram stories like an actual story. There's gotta be a beginning, a middle, and an end, and you've gotta give people the value they're looking for immediately so they keep watching. With intentionality, I think a lot of people treat Instagram like they did Snapchat. They just toss up whatever they are feeling and seeing in the moment, and there's just no point to it. And there's a time and a place for that. But I think to give people value, you have to think about what you're putting up there and when. So when you're being intentional, you gotta make sure that the high quality is also there. It's not like curating your feed, but putting up good quality things is gonna make a difference, and using apps outside of Instagram to edit is gonna add that extra bit of pizzazz. And finally, I also like to try and be lighthearted. I don't want my stories to feel formulaic or too serious, and so you can see on my Instagram highlights, there is a bloopers reel because this is real life and people make mistakes and it's hilarious. We finally made it to Peggy's Cove. We were trying to wait it out for the fog because it is so foggy. We wanted the lighthouse to clear up and it's so misty. It's like a thousand percent humidity and which is why I'm looking like a salty rat. So I don't even know why I bother doing my hair anymore. But I've been hinting at what I use to make my stories, and I'm finally here to tell you. So the first thing I do is edit my photos. I'm either editing in Visco for iPhone photos or Lightroom for camera photos. I also wanted to mention the Teza app. I don't use it often, but I hear really great things about editing iPhone photos in there too. So then what I do is I take all my edited photos and I add them into another program, either Unfold, Storylux, or Scroll. These apps allow you to arrange your photos in creative ways and I love that there's a lot of different buttons to click so that your stories look different than anybody else's. So the last app I sometimes use is called Over. Over allows you to import any font you want. So if you have a specific font you really like, you can then import all your arranged stories in there and add whatever text. Also, I wanted to mention if you're feeling super ambitious, I know that you can create things like Unfold in Photoshop, but I don't got time for that. There's already a ton of people here, so we are gonna take some photos and then we're gonna explore some more in Nova Scotia. We've got about an hour to an hour and a half drive from Peggy's Cove to Lunenburg. So I'm lucky because I don't have to drive. So I've got a lot of time right now to edit a bunch of stories and have them ready to go to go up throughout the day. We are here at some beautiful colorful houses. They are all over Nova Scotia and I love it. But now that you know what my goal is with Instagram stories and what I used to make them and edit, I wanted to share with you how you keep up with stories in busy travel days like we just had. 
our first instinct when we have a free moment is to start consuming on our phones. So you gotta break that habit and you gotta start creating anytime you have a free moment. My next tip is to make use of quiet times. Often we are the driver when we're changing between destinations or we are able to shift our schedules a little bit to create pockets of time. And in those times, don't fall for the trap of like wanting a nap because you're so tired or just wanting to watch some Netflix. Get on there, edit some photos, put them up. My other tip is to not upload all at once. What you wanna do is save a couple frames and upload every half hour to an hour so that you are staying at the front of everybody's story queue. I have one final tip, but I'm so hungry, so we're gonna go for breakfast. All right, we went for some breakfast and I'm feeling much better now. And we are exploring a little bit and we're in the Halifax Central Library and I can finally give you my last tip. So this one may be easier said than done, but I wanna encourage you not to feel stressed to put up stories. Don't isolate yourself or be antisocial. Be present, stay in the moment and enjoy the company you're with and all of your beautiful surroundings. Thank you guys so much for following us around Nova Scotia. I hope all of these story tips were helpful for you. And if you wanna see everything we did in Nova Scotia, you're gonna to have to head over to my Instagram story highlights.